Hello friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are to determine the area of the square. The length of its sides are A. Then this side, we have its length to be 22 units. It is divided into two segments, one with length X and the other, its length is x plus 2. We have here an angle of size 45 degrees. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of the square? It is very simple. The area of a square is calculated by taking the square of the length of one of its sides and we have the length to be a so we can say area of square equal to a squared come to this side pt its length is 22 and we have it divided into x plus 2 and x so we can say x plus 2 plus x equal to 22 x plus x is 2x from 2x plus 2 we can factor out 2 so it is 2 into bracket x plus 1 this 22 divided by this 2 is 11 so x plus 1 equal to 11 take 1 to the right hand side of the equation 11 minus 1 is 10 so x equal to 10, substitute it here, 10 plus 2 is 12, come back to this square, all the angles of a square are right angles, let's put our focus on this triangle, it is a right angle triangle, we have the length of one of its sides to be 12, and this is assumed to be a we can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the length of this side let's say h the Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides the hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle which is this here so by Pythagoras, 12 squared equal to a squared plus h squared. 12 squared is 144. Subtract a squared from both sides of the equation. Here, a squared minus a squared is 0. So h squared equal to 144 minus a squared. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here, square root of h squared is h. So, h equal to square root of 144 minus a squared. Assume the size of this angle to be r. Come back to this square. Draw out the diagonal that connects point r and s. The diagonal of a square as always at an angle 45 degrees with each side of the square so this angle this this and this are 45 degrees each let's take a look at this triangle PRS it has an angle R and an angle 45 degrees same is for this triangle it also has an angle R and an angle 45 degrees that makes the two triangles similar so if we take the ratio of their sides this side facing angle 45 degrees divided by this side also facing angle 45 degrees must be equal to the same side divided by this so 12 over a plus square root of 144 minus a squared equal to a plus square root of 144 minus a squared 
all over 12 plus 10. 12 plus 10 is 22. We cross multiply. 12 times 22 is 264. A plus square root of 444 minus A squared multiplied by A plus square root of 444 plus A squared is A times A plus square root of 144 minus A squared plus square root of 144 minus A squared multiplied by A plus square root of 144 minus A squared. Here it is A squared plus A root 144 minus A squared. And this, if you multiply it, it is a root 144 minus a squared plus 144 minus a squared. a root 144 minus a squared plus a root 144 minus a squared is 2a root 144 minus a squared. a squared minus a squared is 0. Take 144 to the left, 264 minus 144 is 120, so 120 equal to 2a into root 144 minus a squared. We square both sides of the equation, 120 all squared is 12 squared times 10 squared, 12 squared is 144. And 10 squared is 100. 144 times 100 is 14,400. 14,400 is the same as 4 times 3,600. A squared times 144 minus A squared is 144 A squared minus A raised to the power of 4. So 3600 equal to 144 a squared minus a raised to the power of 4. Let's multiply through by minus 1. 3600 times minus 1 is minus 3600. And 144 a squared minus a raised to the power of 4 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 144 a squared plus a raised to the power of 4. Take minus 3600 to the right. So 0 equal to minus 144 a squared plus a raised to the power of 4 plus 3600. That is a raised to the power of 4 minus 144 a squared plus 3600 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve by the quadratic equation formula. Let's do something though. Assume x equal to a squared. Substitute it here. So x squared minus 144x plus 3600 equal to 0. By the general formula, for any equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Compare this equation to this, a equal to 1, b equal to minus 144, and c equal to 3600. Substitute it here. Minus minus 144 is plus 144. Here, minus 144 all squared is minus 1 squared times 144 squared. Minus 1 all squared is plus 1. 144 all squared is 144 times 144. Minus 4 times 1 times 3600 is minus 14400. From here, 144 is common. We factor it out. 
So it is 144 into bracket 144 minus 100. 144 minus 100 is 44. 44 is 4 times 11. So it is 144 times 4 times 11. Square root of 144 times 4 times 11 is 12 times 2 times root 11. Now here, 144 is the same as 72 times 2. From 72 times 2 plus or minus 12 times 2 times root 11, we can factor out 2. So it is 2 into bracket 72 plus or minus 12 root 11. This 2 cancels this 2. So x equal to 72 plus or minus 12 root 11. Recall x is a squared. So a squared equal to 72 plus or minus 12 root 11. That is a squared equal to 72 plus 12 root 11 or a squared equal to 72 minus 12 root 11. So which is the right solution? Let's check this a squared equal to 72 plus 12 root 11. From here, h equal to square root of 144 minus a squared. If we square both sides, it will be h squared equal to 144 minus a squared. And a squared is 72 plus 12 root 11. Minus 72 plus 12 root 11 is minus 72 minus 12 root 11. 144 minus 72 is 72. So h squared equal to 72 minus 12 root 11. This is greater than this. Hence a is greater than h. But here, obviously, a is the shorter side, so it can't be greater than h. We discard this. Therefore, this is the right solution. Substitute it here. So area of square equal to 72 minus 12 root 11. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also turn on notifications.